So this is a short tutorial on how to texture a die, that's the single of dice in Maya. It's a very simple tutorial and is going to involve some very, very simple modeling. So the first thing we're going to do is create a project. So this is Maya out of the box. I'm going to go File, Project Window, New, Dice pro New Project, Dice Texture. Now I've actually already created one called Dice Texture. Um, but let's go ahead and dice texture one, I'll call it. Um, and then I'm going to go accept. And then I can go ahead and set to that project. So I can go file, set project, dice texture one. There we go. There's our project, which I've just created. So I'm going to set to it. And now Maya knows where we're going to work. Now I'm just going to zoom out a little bit in the perspective window here. I'm, I'm staring at the grid and I just want to <clears throat> make sure that my grid is showing. Sometimes when you first turn on Open Up Maya the grid isn't ticked. So actually what we can do here is we can just go to under Show. Let's go Show None in the perspective view and let's make sure that polygons are turned on and also um, Let's uh, let's select NURBS curves, and that's probably all we actually need for now. So let's then let's uh, go ahead and turn that off, and then I'm going to go ahead and create my cube. And I'm going to go create polygon primitives, options box. That's the little box there. Go edit reset settings, and then let's just go ahead and create a cube. So there we go. Now we've got a cube. And we can move that around if we want. If I press W for move, we can move the cube so it sits on the top of the grid like that. Now, uh, the next thing to do is to go and texture it. So what we want to do is um, find ourselves a texture map from the web. So I'm going to go to Google and download a texture map. So here we are. I'm in Google and I'm going to go uh, Dice Texture Map. There we go, and go to images, and I'm going to look for a texture map in Maya. Now, uh, before we do this, what we want to do is just have a look at what the existing UV map is in Maya. So let's just go back to Maya for a second, and I'm going to go to panels, layouts, two panes, uh, well, uh, two, pa two panes side by side, that's the one I want. Panels, layouts, two panes, side by side. And then on the left hand side, I'm going to go panels, layouts, and I want, no, I don't want that. I want panels, panel, UV editor. Panels, panel, UV editor. And you'll see here the UVs for the, um, for the cube. The cube has already been unwrapped in this shape here, where we've got four column, four cubes across the in the vertical axis and then three intersecting it in the x-axis as it were. So what I want to do is go back to um, Google and find a texture map that looks like that. And there we go, we've got one right there. So I'm going to go and, and select this and then I'm going to download, I'm going to go save image as and I'm going to download that and I'm going to save it uh, directly what I can do is I can go into my own uh, documents folder and is it gonna let me navigate uh, I'll tell you what let's pop it on the desktop for now and then um, I can move it in a minute so so we've downloaded it so I've got it on my desktop so I'm just going to minimize uh, my uh, for a minute so I'm just gonna uh, there we go, minimize Maya and then um, there's my texture map and if I open up a um, uh, a window on my on my Mac because I'm working on a Mac but it's the same in um, uh, on a PC if you drop that in your Maya folder you go Maya projects and there's my dice texture and that's the one I just created just now and I go to source images and I pop that folder or that that texture map that we just downloaded from the web into source images uh, and because we've set our project to source images that means that Maya will remember to look in that particular 
folder. So now, if I go, um, uh, well, uh, what we need to do is create a material um, to connect up to the cube. So right now, the cube by default is connected up to Lambert 1, which is the default material that Amaya assigns to everything. So what we're going to do is create a new one. So I'm going to go right click. No, you can't see on my screen there. Uh, let me see if, whoops, um, sorry, back to object mode. If I move this up like this, then you might be able to see it. So I'm going to go right click and <clears throat> you still can't see. <clears throat> So you can't see what I'm doing here, annoyingly, but <clears throat> on your screen you should be able to see a sign favourite material. It's just off the screen down at the bottom there, but you should be able to find that. If you right click on the cube, go to fa sign favourite material Lambert, that's what I'm creating, it is sign favourite material Lambert, and that's going to create a new material, which is going to be called Lambert 2. And in the attribute editor here, I can just click on it, and there it is, it's called Lambert 2. And what I'm going to do is rename it uh, Dice Material. No spaces, and I'm going to have a capital M for the M in Material. Now, what I want to do is go and pick up the material, uh, sorry, the texture map, and attach it to this material I've just created. So I go to this little checker checkerboard here, I click on that, I go to File, is it creates the create render node window so I go to file and that is now going to create a little um, folder here this is all a bit complicated and, and unintuitive uh, you get used to it after a while uh, pretty quickly really there's a little folder there so I'm going to click on that and that will navigate to the folder so there's the there's my JPEG um, that I just downloaded from the web and if I click on open I should find that it's now connected to my die. So if I click on the die and I hit 6 for texture mode on my uh, in my perspective view, you'll see that we do now have the texture of the die popping up on the cube. Uh, now it's not looking very good yet and if we look, I'm just going to go back to the channel box there, you can just see that in the corner, channel box over there. Um, oh, we should name this by the way, it's called P-Cube 1, but let's call it Die 1, that's a better name. Uh, die being a single of dice, of course. And then I want to go into my UV editor, which is over here, and I want to select my, um, my UVs. Um, and um, so uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and... Um, Now what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to go to um, the UV editor up here. I'm just going to go UV UV editor in order to um, pull this up in two um, extra little windows there. And I also get this little menu, this UV toolkit menu here. And this is the one I want, the, um, this button um, here on the left, the little, the little square there. And what that will allow me to do is drag select the UVs over here and you'll see now I get um, some controls and I can just pick up, pick this up here and slide the UVs over the texture map like that. And if I close that out now you'll see in the, um, in the other window in my perspective view that the um, texture map is now correctly lined up with the UV. So if I close that out, so we can go back to panels UV editor there. So this, as I say, this is a really simple um, texturing exercise, about as simple a job as you can get in texturing. So I'm now going to right click on this cube, go back to object mode, and I'm just going to observe that it's a very, very sharp edged cube, and no dice or no die in real life would be like this. So let's just do a very little bit of modeling just to um, just to soften the edges a bit and what I'm going to do is in the modeling menu I'm going to go to mesh um, uh, or is it edit mesh uh, there we go edit mesh bevel and I'm just going to open up the options box and let's see if I take segments up to three well let's first of all go to edit reset settings then let's take segments to three width to 
0.3 and then go bevel and what that will do is give us a little bit of a bevel there on the dice now the fraction that's a little bit too high so if I take that back to 0.2 maybe even 0.1 there we go um, now I'm getting that's more like the kind of die that you might find in as it were in in real life there's still some tweaks we can make to that texture map isn't completely lining up with the die but that is a really super basic introduction to texture maps and how to apply them to an object and we were lucky in this case because the um, because the die texture map almost perfectly aligns with the automatic UVs created by Maya when you create an object like this it does get a little more complicated from here but that is an introduction to very basic modeling in Maya I mean, uh, sorry, texturing. Very basic texturing in Maya. And there's another tutorial, by the way, um, wh wh in which I explain how to animate the dice falling using active and passive rigid bodies, which is a way of automating the rolling of the dice on a tabletop so you don't have to animate the dice using traditional keyframe methods. You just apply physics to it, and Maya will do the rest. So do have a look uh, for that video, because that's sort of the next stage after this one.